Rick and Morty fan? Uh, I haven't seen Rick and Morty in a long ass time. Fizzbang, thanks for the prime, dude. I, I watched it like probably six years ago. I haven't seen like the new season or anything. I thought Rick and Morty was pretty funny. When Shannon and I started dating, I was telling her about Rick and Morty. And I was like, you've got to watch this. This is great. And I showed her an episode of Rick and Morty. And she thought it was the stupidest show she's ever seen in her life. So, uh, I haven't really watched it since. <laughs> uh, yeah. Is this guy... This guy's fine to solo, right, boys? Oh, yo, half buried bottle. I found the bottle. It's right here. It's literally right there, dude. Yo, Chad, th this one's this one's fine to solo, right? Gorlash, he doesn't hit that hard. I'll just we'll do this. We're, let's just kite him far like that. Slow him down like that, and then we'll send the fear. Hopefully, oh, fear works, bro. I remember when I was leveling my mage, I I would say something along the lines of like, if I can slow it, I can kill it. And it feels like on the Shadow Priest, it's like, if I can fear it, I can kill it. Because I can do this kind of thing where I just, I fear, and then I kite out like this. And then I have another fear. Look, it's the, the my next fear's back up. And then during the fear, I can get a ton of damage in. It's like a stun. And then while he's running back, I can just do that. And just keep kind of running. I don't want him to reset. So I'll send like a wand or two. Like that. But then I have another fear back up. So then I can just fear again. Now the, the downside is if fear resists. You only have one fear. Fear resists. You're like, you're, you're there with your pants down. Like that's it. Thanks for yesterday, Onig, about the cookbook. It's that good I want show appreciation again. <laughs> see. Hey, no problem, man. Thanks for the 10. I appreciate you a lot. I got you. So this guy does slap, like, really hard. He breaks my shield in, like, one or... Yeah, he hits... So if I, if I didn't have fear, this would be really hard. Like, maybe not doable. Like, Priest's be best ability is fear. By far. Like, if I, if I didn't have... If I didn't have fear, then... There's, I, I don't, like, could I, could I kill this guy without fear chat? Maybe. No? No? Like, I, I don't, I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could kill this guy without fear. He, he, he takes. Ding up 47, baby. Let's get some Zardings in the chats. He take, he doesn't, yeah, he like kind of owns. He slaps hard. I'm not even sure. Watch this chat. Mind control, waiting for the Elder Magus to come by on the patrol. And then we just MC this guy. And then send this, 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 and this. And then both these guys are getting absolutely slammed. Flame strike both here. Yeah, and now we just do this. And this. Yeah, priests are disgustingly OP. And then we just do that. And they're all dead. Easy clown. Pika, are you Baldur's Gate incoming? Wait, I would actually be down for that. The only thing that's hard about that is I wake up at 6 a.m. and I'm live by usually 9 or 10. Peekaboo goes to bed at like 6 a.m. You know what I'm saying? So like the schedules are hard to line up, but that would actually I would actually be down. All right, guys, we're at the point where I kind of want to do this hard of mock quest. Now, I realize how risky this is and that we do have a Starforge PC on the line like if i die then it's literally a pc that evaporates into thin air into the matrix into oblivion forever but at the same time like i feel like this is a quest that i want to do like i don't want to skip this quest so apparently it's a, uh, it's a uh, it's okay so apparently this quest i have to kill four like a pack of three gorillas and then a pack of four gorillas and then a pack of five this one is a killer. Yeah, I know. I know. I still have Light of a Loon. That actually is true. But if I Light of a Loon, I can't mana pot. Let me aggro four gorillas and see how it feels. One. Don't do it. I, I let me let me test this out. One, two, three. Four. 
Okay, this is actually five. This is this is a good test. So this is how it's gonna be, right? Five. So I can do that, and then I can fear. And I can't really kite too much because I'm, I'll be in the back of a cave. So this is how it's gonna be. I can fear four, and I can re-shield. Is this actually six? This might be six. This is good. This is a good test. Okay, so I can kill the first one. Congrats on the recent news, Josh. Happy for you. And I can do this. And then I could like nade and then re-fear. Yes, yeah, this is this is scary. I mean, I don't know if I can do it. Cause I okay, so the only reason I'm not dead right now is oh shit. I just realized I'm like kinda in trouble right now. One sec. I, I think I'm gonna reset this. I think I'm just gonna run, boys. I didn't realize like I could actually just die. <laughs> I was testing this. Okay, <laughs> I was testing this to prevent death, and then I just got really scared for a second. Um, okay, so we... Hmm. Yo, Charge, thanks for the prime. Dies during the test run? Shit. So I don't know if I can do this quest. So I just had the reset. How many was that? That was six, right? Oh, I need ten gorilla fangs to even start the quest. I only have one. Bro! <laughs> I feel like I vendored those at some point. Oh my gosh. All right, 10 for 10 on Gorilla Fangs, boys. Let's go. Do I have a strategy in mind? I think I'm gonna try the hill strat. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I think it seems like the safest option for me. And I'm gonna kill this one. So if I have to run, I'm just gonna run down this hill and then out this direction. Does that sound fair? Like, yeah. I won't have to kill that one, I won't aggro, and I'm just gonna book it that way. So basically, I'm gonna start the quest, and the what, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the quest and run up here. And then from up here, I'm gonna let the gorillas run in on the boss, let the boss get aggro, or let the NPC get aggro, and then I'm gonna pull them off one by one from the back. And if I have to run, I'm just gonna book it that way. I think that's the strat, man. Predictions are almost in. It looks like... I don't know, percentages, 60, 65% of you think I'm going to do it, and 35% of you don't think I'm going to do it. Let's see the prediction. 67 think yes, 33 think no. All right, boys. Well, I started the quest, right? I started it? So I, I'm, I'm just going to run this way, I think. Okay, cool. Oh, they come from down the hill. I have time. Okay, so it's three on the first wave. It's 341. I, I mean, I know the first wave is, is fine. I know the first wave totally chill. I got a little close there. Um, okay, so we're going to let them come in. And obviously, I, I can't let the witch doctor die. I want to keep my mana, like, really high here. Okay, the witch doctor is getting kind of low, so I'm going to pull off two of them. The witch doctor cannot die or the quest fails. Okay. The Witch Doctor's at half HP and he's just tanking one, so that's like kind of concerning. I mean, he, yeah, he's definitely not much of a help. I didn't fear though, keep in mind. Um, also, this next spawn of. Okay, the Witch Doctor's getting really low. The next spawn of Gorillas, I think, is five, and I need to have like full mana before this next one comes. They do enrage as well, it looks like, and the uh, Witch Doctor is almost dead. Hopefully, the Witch Doctor will heal back to full before the, the, the next wave. Okay, so I'm... Hopefully the Witch Doctor heals to full. If not, I'm screwed. Oh my gosh, what the fuck? Wait, is that bugged? Why is there so many? One, two, three, four, five on the second? Is the Witch Doctor to full HP? Okay, Witch Doctor's getting slammed. I'm gonna have to pull off like at least three. Witch Doctor's half HP. I'm gonna go in for a fear right now. Fucking hell. Witch Doctor's 30% already. I don't know if this is a good strat. Okay, so I have four, but the first one's almost dead and I have fear in 10 seconds. Witch Doctor is like 30%. I'm gonna have to just handle these and hope the Witch Doctor doesn't die. I have a fear in three, two, one. Witch Doctor's almost dead. That's a fear. Let's kill this one. Witch Doctor fucking died, so I failed the quest. I'm still not out of the woods yet. I. 
He had one mob. I was tanking four. The witch doctor had one. I think the quest fails, right? I'm not 100% certain. Fresh full reset. That was way harder than I thought. Oh my gosh. And I still I still have the next wave. I, I, yeah, I failed, I think. I didn't have any time to drink. The witch doctor healed the full. I can't heal him. No, you can't heal him. Drink up. I mean, I think... I, I think the quest hasn't failed yet, but I'm assuming it, it's going to fail. I'm assuming it's going to fail because, I mean, right? No, you can't heal him, guys. I tried. You can't heal the boss. If the next wave spawns and I get the heart of mock, then I'll be... Then I can maybe still do it. I just don't... I, I think it's going to fail in a sec here. So the second wave had like five mobs. What the hell is that? I thought the third wave... If this third wave spawns, I, I don't think I can do it. I'm going to run out of dodge. I just... I don't know. I don't know if it's going to spawn or not. Fuck. I, I don't think the third wave spawns without the witch doctor there. Oh! Oh! Oh, wait, no, that's just this. Yeah, it's not going to respawn. I guess we have to farm 10 more fangs and try again. That, yeah, that, I, I failed the prediction, I guess, right? Does Zarya you complete it? I said first try. No, I guess we'll have to try again second try. No. No spirit tap? Wait, was I not getting spirit tap? What do you mean, no spirit tap? Was I not getting spear tap on the gorillas? I wasn't? Oh, dude, no wonder I had no mana. Oh my gosh. Boys, I don't know if it's possible. How am I gonna get past that second wave without spear tap? I'm gonna be so oom. I know if I get to the last wave, I can do it. And I was close. No, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. I, dude, spear tap doesn't work. That makes it so much harder than than it should be. Because if I had spe like spear taps, what keeps you going, right? Spear taps for sure, what keeps you going. I tried on my warlock at 48 and bailed. I did it on my druid at level 52. Use my dummy and my nades on wave two. I did use my nade on wave two. It wasn't enough. Oh wait, but I need to keep my nade off of cooldown for wave three. I could maybe use my Grenade at the start of wave two, but I'm gonna need it on wave three to split pull. Target dummy's my out though. Yeah, it feels really scary to use a target dummy like offensively, so to speak. Like use it when I'm not gonna die. This is this is definitely the sussiest quest I've done so far on priest. How funny, man. On my mage, I just AOE grind it. Like it's just on a mage, you just press you press you just press frost nova cock and they're just they're all dead. I think the the thing that makes it just more scary than it should be is spirit tap just not working that's it like if spirit tap works i feel like i feel way more confident because you just you 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 time it to where you basically get a spirit tap and then when that spirit tap fades you get another spirit tap and when that spirit tap fades you get another spirit tap and then you're basically just always tapped up and you just kill them but without spirit taps you just oom and then that's it all right boys we have 10 gorilla fangs let's do this thing again all right boys Without further ado. For this first wave, I don't really have to go up here. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, for the first wave, I'm just gonna chill with him and just do the normal, like, whatever. Just three. This is like, with three, I feel really chill. I just, yeah, if I don't get spear tap from killing us, I'm gonna keep an eye out. I don't, what the hell? So, I mean, that's the big issue right there. Okay, so once I kill these, I'm gonna go up to the hill and shrink the full. And then I'm gonna use a nade and to fear and try to kill like this, like this is the hard part right here. Wave two. Okay, I'm gonna run out on the hill. Oh, dude! 
Oh man, I don't have any time to drink. Don't pull, don't pull, don't pull, don't pull. If they pull, I'm gonna reset. I just pulled one? Oh fuck, I don't have enough mana, boys. I think it's a reset. Damn it! I don't have enough mana to do it. I, I have to run. I didn't get up on the hill in time. If I get dazed or something, it's just tough, right? I can maybe make it to a second fear here in five seconds. Here, let's try this. Here, let's, let's, I'll, I'll double back, I'll double back. I just don't have spirit tab, bro. I have pot still. I'm gonna double back. I'm gonna double back. I normally make fun of people that do this, but. Okay, this is the one that's low. Seconds, that'll be a target dummy. Inner fire. I'm getting real fucking low here, boys. This is this is danger zone. I don't know, boys. That's a reset, I think. I have like no outs. I have a mana pot. It's a mana pot. Stone form. I have fear soon. Three, two, one. It's a re-fear. I have literal zero outs right now. I have another nade soon. I have another mana pot in two minutes. Another nade now. Okay. down to the last one. I need to make sure that, that those don't spawn on me. I need the drink to full, which means that I'm gonna I'm gonna have to let the quest giver die. Alright, so I'm going up on the hill before I even kill this one. I want to make sure that I'm safe. I'm gonna kill this one, and then I think I'm gonna drink the full. I'm gonna let the quest giver die, and I'm gonna try to split pull the boss. Fuck. Do I have food? I don't have food. Oh! I don't have food. Quest giver is gonna die. Wait, only one gorilla aggroed. How do I not have food? Oh, they're all running in now. Shit. Okay, quest giver is gonna die, but there's Mock. Sorry, sorry, witch doctor. You're done. I can't save him. The mushroom? Um, no, it's a fungus cow. So the witch doctor's just uh, Sorry. Split pull. No, you don't need them to survive. I can split pull this. Why, why are they there? Oh my god, why, why are they? Okay, nice. Okay, this is good. So now, is that gonna hit all of them right there? I think it will. Nice, it did, it did. That should be money right there, man. That should be money. Reset, please. Nice! Easy fucking clap, boys! Mock the Savage. That's the heart. Dude, that was the hardest quest we've done so far by a long shot on the priest. By a mile, dude.
you have to really think that one through. Like, if you're just gonna face that head on, you're gonna get smoked every time. The, 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 you, you, you gotta hit it from the back. You gotta get out of the cave and then come back into the cave and, and, and let the quest give or die. And you gotta think this out, man. Manage prediction. This is how you complete the quest. We got it, boys. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Dude, that was nuts. Yo, chat, did you guys think I had to reset there on the second wave? Like, that was ballsy as, as shit to stay in there, let's be honest. I used target dummy pot. Like, bro, I used a nade or two. I, I, dude, I thought, <laughs> I thought I was like, all right, we need to get out of here. Wait, there's five? Plus the, dude, there's six gorillas on the last one. <laughs> that, that quest is a monster of a quest, dude. <laughs> That's a monster of a quest, man. So the only way to do that by saving the NPC is to probably just be a mage. You could probably do it on some other classes. Like if you were a prop pally, I think you could do it. I think a holy pally could do it. You just throw down consecration and just heal yourself and just... Like I think there's certain classes. War with retail, but you only have one retail. How, how are you gonna do the second wave on a warrior? I did it on Prop Pally. I think Prop Pally could work. Holy Pally could work. I think Mage could work. Like, what other classes do you guys think could just sit in the back and kill all seven? That should be an achievement. I don't know. I don't know why that's not an achieve. If you guys are just tuning in, this is an achievement run, so I'm going I'm going for all of the achievements. We have all of them up to here so far. Next one is Chem Jail's equipment found at 52. On top of all the achievements, though, we're doing extra achievements. Things like Falcon Crest and Auto was not an achievement, but we got it done. Things like the Ogre Tower quest was not an achievement, but we got it done. And things like Heart of Mock, not an achievement, but we got it done. So we're like, we're making it as hard as we can and adding additional challenges on top of that to make it even stupidly harder. Okay, let's go do this riddle quest and get that 14 slaughter, baby. Real OG, thanks for the prime as well. Dying to fall damage would be really cringe. Okay, so we go here. Oh, it's actually down in the waterfall. I do have slow fall. So this is, I will use a feather here. And I think it's, well, am I remembering correctly or is it? I think it's at the bottom. It's not here, right? Yeah, it's, it's at the bottom, right chat? Oh, I can just go around. I don't actually have to jump, do I? Yeah, I could just go around. It's at the bottom, okay. Let's, uh, we can just jump, we'll be fine. Ah, is that my first levitate? That might be my first levitate. That might be, that might be it. Ah, right, give me my 14 slaughter, Cortello. We got the knapsack, boys. Knapsack secured. 14, 14, 12, 12. Ah, yes. Can't remember if it's this way or the... Oh, that's an elite tortoise. Yo! Leave me alone. There's a huge ramp. Yeah, I can't remember if it's up this way. If it's down that way. Where's the glory? Kill the turtle. Damn it, just because you said that, I'm going to go back and kill the tor turtle. This one's for you, Toad. Toady. This one's for you, man. If I die, this is Toadie's fault. Like, singularly. It's all on one person here. This is all Toadie if I die. 100%. Ah, oh, Shadow Priest are just awesome. I could have probably min-maxed this a bit harder there, actually. It's okay, though. Oh, that guy hits hard. Okay, that's it. Okay, daze. Let's kite it out. Oh, my gosh. Okay. 
I have fear in one second. Yeah, that boy hits real hard. I'm low on mana too. Yeah, this turtle's actually a bit harder. Okay, we're vibing. Oh, blackout proc. Good night. Cody! Jeez! Congrats to you and Shannon on this amazing point in your lives. So happy for y'all and your new toaster. <laughs> that made me laugh. Thanks for the prime, man. Yeah, no, we're stoked about the toaster. Yeah, we're stoked about the toaster. Toasters are pretty, uh, pretty good. They, they speed up the, the process of, uh, heating and, uh, toasting bread, which is nice. And there's a bagel setting on there and everything. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm overall pretty happy with our toaster. Last night I was trying it out just to test to see if it was working and I made one um, piece of bread and sourdough bread with some butter. And then I I made another one because I toasted it too much and I wanted it just to min-max the toaster setting. So I, I, I cooked one on the six toaster setting and it was a little too little too crispy so i i tried another toaster setting and i did it at i did it at uh five and it was still a little too well done on the bread so i tried a third setting and i did it at four and a half and it was perfect chat real quick right here one two three four five and six there's one right answer here Oh, uh, okay. I, I think three three through five are all pretty good, but I think a lot of the times I'm going with four. And sometimes I'm going with three. Yeah, okay, this one. Let's do this one. One. Okay, so level one's not an option. So you have level two, level three, level four, level five. Uh, wow, yeah, these are... All of these look pretty good. I mean, all of these are pretty edible, though. How toasty. Everybody vote. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's take a look at the poll. Holy shit! Everyone's voting four, man! Yeah, I mean, four is my go-to here as well. Four looks so golden, man. Bro, we're raiding toast, Silvermane Stalker. Like, leave me alone. I'm trying to figure out what- like, how to toast my freaking bread, and you come up out of nowhere. Unbelievable. Are you a legend in your college? I don't think so. I never went outside, man. I was just streaming all the time. I knew one guy that recognized me. So, I didn't really say hi to anyone in college because I was... I was the type of guy, bro. I had my hood up and my headphones in. Don't talk to me. You know, I'm doing my thing. I'm, I'm out here. I'd be... I, I didn't have a car. I was just... I ride, I ride my bike everywhere. Headphones on, hood up. And I would just come to class in a hoodie and just, like, fall asleep. And then, you know, take the test and, like, do what I needed to get done. But one, one day, someone recognized me from stream. Uh, so a viewer came up, and he's like, Yo, are you Zar? I'm like, yeah, what's up, dude? And uh, we became friends. And he actually had a meal plan, and he would help me eat. With He would invite me to, like, he would swipe his card, and I could, I could get a free meal. It was the best, man. So we'd go into the dining hall where you could eat. It was like a... You could, you could eat as much as you wanted or something. And he would, he would swipe me in. And I would just sit in there for like an hour and just go to town, dude. Because I didn't, dude, I didn't weigh anything because I didn't eat much. Because it was just like the pizzas, the three for nine pizzas for like a whole week. So, anyway. That was really nice. And then I ended up... we The next year, I ended up, we ended up moving in together. Like, he was my roommate. And then, uh... We, we still keep in touch today, so. One of the viewers, one of my closest friends. Pretty sick, huh? Did he go to your wedding? He actually did go to my wedding, yeah. We had a really small wedding. 16 people? 15 people? We almost invited nobody. But he did come. Yeah. He's probably my closest IRL friend. I think. And I met him from, uh, he's a viewer. Boys, get your Zardings ready. Level 48 ink. Oh, not, okay. Not, not yet. Right here. Oh! 48. 48, 48, 48.